So, okay, in this chapter, we will learn about uh, menus. So, in Android, there are a lot of uh, menus uh, that help to have a better user experience uh, because all the actions of the GUI on the GUI are grouped. So, you can uh, provide a lot of action to your user uh, in a small room of your screen. So, since Android 3.0, the menu button is mandatory. So this means that you may not have this button. So please don't uh, provide menus for uh, this button. Um, since everything is, uh, every UI element is uh, XML uh, in Android, you have to define uh, your menus through an XML. So there are a lot of menus in Android. Uh, there is context menu, there is pop-up menu, navigation drawer, action bar, and uh, option menu. And we will describe all of these menus uh, in details. So let's have a look first uh, to uh, menu structure. So this is an XML, and we can observe that there is some menu uh, element. And inside of this menu, we can specify the different item on uh, uh, we want to to have on this menu, okay? So here we have two elements which which are edit and remove. So to build this menu, you just have to call the layout in Flutter in order to expand the view. So let's first have a look to pop-up menu. So pop-up menu appears above the selected element. So when there is a click, you can trigger uh, the inflator for building the menu. Uh, you have to register for click in order to be able then to launch the, the menu. So let's have a look to the implementation. So here we can see that we have a list view. Here we have a list view. And this list view uh, is accessed through an array adapter. And so then we can specify that what's happening when we have a long click listener. So we override the on item long click. And inside of this uh, method, we can observe that we define our new pop-up menu. And then we grab the inflator. Then we specify what we want to inflate. Here, we, this is r.menu.myMenu, which is the XML I provided to you uh, earlier. And then I can specify a lot of options for my menu. For instance, when I have a click on the element of this menu, I can do something. Here, I just display a toast. OK? So, now that we have seen a uh, pop-up menu, we can observe what are contextual menus. So contextual menus are dedic de dedicated action for specific view uh, and can be associated to any kind of view. So when you have a view, you can build a contextual menu for this view. So this is pretty useful when you want to reserve uh, an area for your user to do something, you just have to click, and then you can display the menu on this area. OK. Uh, there are two kinds of contextual menus. The first one is floating menus that are close to pop-up menus. And the second one in action mode that will trigger um, an action bar on the top of your screen, and you can do some, something then. OK, so what about floating menu? Uh, first of all, you have to register the view to be able to, um, to receive notification about uh, menu, uh, uh, menu's uh, declenchment. And then you can overload on context create menu to trigger a new uh, contextual menu. And we can see that. This is quite simple. You just have to get the inflator and to inflate the menu as previously. So basically, you, you have to know that when you want to build the menu, you just have to get the inflator and then you can inflate the menu. So for contextual menu with action bar, it's a little more complicated. 
uh, you have to build a new action man callback. And here, inside of this callback, you have to define a few methods. The first one is onCreate action mode, which will specify what to do when the action bar is triggered. And then you have to refine on prepare action mode. So if you want to do something before the action mode, uh, the action bar is uh, triggered. Or, and then you can select, uh, refine the on selection item clicked to do something. And finally, if you want to clean up the things before the action bar is released, you just have to refine the method on this transaction mode. Then uh, we can uh, run the callback with a long press. And so when we click on the element or on the view uh, for a long click, we can start action mode. And this will run the code we have seen previously. And then we can change the background color to blue or something like that to indicate which, which element have been selected. So this kind of uh, this kind of listener and action bar and so on is very useful when you want to provide a lot of action uh, for multiple views at the same time. So for instance, editing and deleting all the elements selected in the list, it's very useful to have an action bar. So and this is uh, what we we can observe running this code. So now let's have a look to navigation drawer. So navigation drawer is only a drawer that will be displayed when you slide your finger from the left to the center of your screen. OK? So doing that, a menu will appear on the left part of the screen. OK. So it's an hidden panel. And this panel can be revealed programmatically when you want, so on some click or when you decide. And it can be revealed by a left to right swap. Uh, the advantage of this panel is that we can plug any kind of view inside of this panel. So if you want to have a list, it's quite simple. If we want to build a more complex view, it's quite simple also. So the guidelines for this drawer uh, uh, say the drawer must be open at the beginning of the application. Otherwise, the user will not know that this drawer is available. OK. So this drawer embeds a fragment. So you can build your fragments and put inside of the drawer. And how we can define the GUI? It's quite simple. We just have to define our drawer. And then inside of our drawer, you can define a frame layout. And inside of this frame layout, we can define the fragment. OK, here we can see that this is my navigation drawer application dot uh, navigation drawer fragment that will be triggered when launching uh, the navigation drawer. So now we can build the view for our fragment. So here, I just specify that I only have a list view, uh, a simple list of view. And so here, you can see that there is nothing else. When we have done that, uh, we can use open drawer from, from the main activity. So on the onCreate method, we set up all our UI elements. And then we grab the reference on the drawer layout. And then we can ask to this element to open drawer. Doing that, we'll just open the drawer. We can also close the drawer when we press some element. So we can use navigation drawer easily. We, can, we have seen that. But you have to add two more dependencies inside of your uh, build.gradle. Uh, and you have to specify that we will use com.android.support and so on. OK? So as previously, we can, for the list, we can add a header layout for the navigation drawer. 
This is a simple view. You can put anything you want inside of this uh, header and you can also uh, define a footer. So, here this is a small example uh, of a navigation drawer. And here we can see that there is a more specific integration uh, with the action bar, which a small animation uh, when the drawer is uh, triggered. So to do that, uh, we can use the drawer to go. And you have to specify that you will use action bar drawer to go. And the objective is to ease the interaction uh, with the user. So in this bar, we will put a lot of menus and buttons inside of this bar. So, first of all, let's have a look to how to integrate navigation drawer and uh, drawer to go. So here we can see that we build a new action bar drawer to go, and we specify the um, resource when the drawer is open and the resource when the drawer is closed, and then we can do something when the drawer is open and do something when the, upper, the, the drawer is closed. Okay. So to sum up, uh, the action bar uh, offers other menus. I will describe it in the future sequence. And we have seen that it's easily uh, configurable for, configurable for uh, the integration with the navigation drawer. And there are a lot of menus uh, that you can use. You have to choose the best one at each time uh, for your user experience. And finally, once again, don't overload your application with a lot of menus. Uh, keep the application as simple as possible. So this is it. <laughs>